Gaet and its port were hosts of the beginning of the European endurance season for 2002, with a large number of enthusiastic spectators. The Gaeta test is the first of six competitions in which endurance boats will race in Italian, French and English waters. The World Championship Finals will be held in Cowles, in the waters of Solent. As always, the 12 teams who entered the competition went to the briefing for the explanation of the circuit and the rules of the race. The president of the Italian Speedboat Federation was also at Gaeta, and he's happy with how endurance racing is going at the moment. After listening to him, we will hear the opinion of some of the pilots. There are many boats. It's particularly important because we are talking about Group A endurance. That is the largest boat. I can see boats over 20 meters long. Well, in the first place, it is a rigid inflatable boat with a rigid keel and two Yanmar 440 horsepower engines. And the new concept of transmission, the ring drive, where the engine and the propeller support make a complete circle. Con questa gara e soprattutto con questo equipaggio femminile vogliamo dare dimostrazione alla, alla nostra clientela dell'affidabilità del progetto e, e siamo sicuri di farcela. In the paddock we met Massimo Lippi, who is working both as a pilot and as a technician. I have transferred my nautical business activities here to these amateur competitions and I think it is more or less the future of competitive speedboat racing. The hull is ready, but unfortunately will only be given the engines next week. So we'll be ready for the next competition, but we're here without the boat. Unfortunately, the previous day's weather forecast was correct, and on the morning of the competition, the wind and rain made the sea conditions extremely demanding. They said the weather conditions would get much worse in the open sea, so it would be impossible to follow the original program, consisting of a triangle of 13 miles to be rounded at least four times in order to reach the minimum of 50 miles, which is the distance required by the regulations here in the bay. That is, in waters that are a little more protected, with a boy at Scari and one at Mondragone. Even in the pouring rain, the waters of Gaeta are an excellent stage for endurance races. From 1988, European and World Championships and many other competitions have been held in these race circuits. That's why it's definitely a very good race circuit. All the boats are in the water by now, and they're leaving the port and are on their way to the starting point. The endurance starting procedure is like the one for offshore racing. The smoke gun goes off, the starter brings the teams together, and then he waves the yellow flag. The race was started by raising the green flag. The competitors have gone past the starter and are speeding around the four 13-mile laps, which make a total of 52 nautical miles. Twelve teams have entered the first race of the Italian and European Championship at Gaeta. Three of the four categories of boats are competing tourism, sport and prototypes. There are no super yachts, that is, tourism boats from 15 to 24 meters long.
only one foreign hull is competing, the English KS-1, driven by Peter Dredge and Falcon Hawkins. In the meantime, the fleet has reached the buoy in the open sea in the Gaeta Bay. This is definitely one of the most difficult points of the circuit with high waves and a strong wind. In fact, all the boats are jumping. Sea conditions like this certainly don't increase the boat's maximum speed, whereas they highlight the validity of the keel and its ability to absorb the impact with the waves. It was just that, the impact with the waves, that stopped Gualdambrini and Mangione's S57 at the beginning of the race. Again during the first mile, the S2 of the present champion Hans Boints, who is driving with Matteo Nicolini this year, stopped because of his BPMs had a defective thrust bearing. The T-33 is yet another innovative hull designed by engineer Fabio Buzzi. The pilots are Gianfranco Zanoni and Vincenzo Tota, and they have two other pilots to help them drive this boat, which is considered a fast vedette. Meanwhile, Fatarella and Rizzardi's P-21 is just about to reach the finish. This hull is in the prototype category and was built by the FB Shipyard. It's 11.80 meters long and has two SeaTech diesel 900 horsepower engines. The T21 is in the tourism category and has a completely female team, captained by Paolo de Simone and Francesca Di Ciaccio. The hull is the classic 40 from the offshore shipyard. It's 11.80 meters long and has two Yanmar 440 horsepower engines. Buonuomo Nratti's S33 is the same boat, but it's in the sport category. It has two SeaTech 700 horsepower engines. Simplifying the regulations, the parameters for inclusion in the tourism category are the boat's width compared to its length, shipyard fittings, and the basic model's engine. It was the SeaTech engines that made the S33 a sport boat. The regulations kept the Posillipo out of the competition because it did not fall into the parameters of its class, but it was put in the sea anyway so it could tackle the Gaeta circuit. Aldo Liori and Aldo Granucci's P6 had an accident that is typical of such rough seas, even for pleasure boats. They hadn't fixed the anchor properly and it came away and slowed them down. Massimo Buonuomo and Fulvio de Simone are finishing the circuit with their T22 from the Bimax shipyard, which is 10.30 meters long and has two Yanmar 440 horsepower engines. Guidi Salvatori and Foglia Manzillo's glorious P5 is in excellent trim. It is a boat that made offshore history in the 90s, and today it's one of the best prototypes with two Zotta Fraschini turbo diesel 800 horsepower engines. The P21 has already reached the finish, and the boats pursuing it are still racing fast, as we can see from the KS1's candle. 
The nine hulls that have finished are coming back to the port where they will tell us about the most interesting phases of their race. We had fun. It was a good experience. The sea was great and we arrived second in our category and we are satisfied. It was a fantastic race. The organization worked well. The sea was very rough so we had to struggle with our boat. That was the smallest of the fleet, and in any case, we managed very well. We won our category, and we also won the performance index. Le barche al via erano soltanto 11 invece che 12. Damiano Rizzardi, vuoi spiegarci perché la tua barca non ha potuto partecipare all'ultimo momento? Well, let's say we had some technical problems with the regulations. But in any case, we are very satisfied because we came to Gaeta for this first Italian European Endurance Championship, representing our team as best as we could with two boats. And we came second despite the difficult sea conditions. Reg Peter and Okin Falcon are the winner in the category Sport. What do you think about this race? It was a, a very good race. Um, it was a hard race and there was a lot of um, action that we had to contend with, contend with, with the, the sea being quite rough and a lot of competitors actually caught us up because we had a slight technical problem. The performance index is a formula created so that boats of various length and power can be compared more equally. It is more or less what happens in sailing, with real time and compensated time. Each boat has a reference average depending on its length. Whoever manages to do better or not worse than his reference average overall and compare it to others has won. We began the prize giving from the performance index podium, where the winner was Zanoni and Tortus T33. Now it's the prototype podium with the P5 that leads both the Italian championship and the European one. In the sports category, the S33 wins the Italian Championship and it leads the first place in the European Championship to the English KS1. Finally, the tourism category, where from the highest step, the T33 announces the meeting at St. Florent on June 23rd.